आई एम एस बी मिश्रा गोइंग टू टीच यू द रिमेनिंग पार्ट पार्ट सिक्स ऑफ सेट थियोरी दिस इज द वर्ड प्रॉब्लम इन अ सर्वे ऑफ फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव स्टूडेंट वन वन फाइव लाइक एप्पल वन सिक्स जीरो लाइक ऑरेंज एट्टी लाइक बोथ एप्पल एज वेल एज ऑरेंज हाउ मेनी ड्रिंक नाइदर एप्पल नॉर ऑरेंज ओनली एप्पल ओनली ऑरेंज लेट अस सी द फिगर ए रिप्रजेंट्स द पीपुल हु आर लाइकिंग एप्पल बी रिप्रजेंट्स द पीपुल हु आर लाइकिंग ऑरेंज राइट ए बी सी थ्री वेरिएबल्स हैव बीन यूज एप्पल वन फिफ्टीन एप्पल मीन्स ए प्लस बी इज वन फिफ्टीन वन सिक्सटी ऑरेंज मीन्स बी प्लस सी वन सिक्सटी एंड एट्टी ड्रिंक बोथ बी इज बोथ सो दिस इज एट्टी नाउ सॉल्विंग ऑल दीज put the value of b at the different place and get the value of a b c a 35 c 80 and the total students total students are given 425 a 35 b is already 80 c 80 now the number of people who like either apple or orange a b c these are the people who are liking all kind of fruits this is 195 now people uh, number of people who neither like apple nor orange total 425 minus 195 so this is 230 next people who like only apple only apple is a you can see in the figure this a is only apple and this c is only orange so only apple is 35 only orange is 80 now second question There are eight fifty people. Six hundred speak Hindi. Three forty speak Tamil. How many speak both Tamil and Hindi? Only Hindi. Only Tamil. Now draw uh, two sets. A B right A B C as earlier. Six um, hundred people Hindi. So A plus B is six hundred. And in in a group of eight fifty people, total people is A plus B plus C eight fifty. Uh, again. And yet three forty like Tamil, so B plus C three forty. Solving in this way, uh, we get C is equal to two fifty, A is equal to five ten. So both Tamil and Hindi. This is the B, and the value of B is uh, uh, yes. If C and A are ready, you can find B from any of the equation. B is ninety. So. Both Tamil and Hindi, ninety. Only Hindi. A is only Hindi, five ten. A is only Hindi, five ten. And only Tamil C. C is two fifty. Now next, again same problem. And the two sets have been displayed like earlier. You can go through this. There are two two fifty people, and both are suffering from skin disease. One fifty is exposed to chemical A. Uh, 74 to chemical B 36 to both. So A plus B 150 chemical A, B plus C chemical B 74, and both chemical A and B. This is 36. Solve all to get A B C, and your all answers are ready. Get A is equal to this, B is equal to C. As earlier you can solve yourself. One, two, three equations are there. Now chemical A only. The answer is A. So A is one fourteen. Chemical B only. Chemi chemical B uh, only. Chemical B only is uh, C. So the value of C is thirty eight. Either A or B. Either means either or means union. So this is all A plus B plus C. All added. Neither means total two fifty. Where there two fifty minus. And there are total number two fifty. So subtract two fifty from two fifty. Subtract this one eighty. The seventy get neither of A and B. Similarly, one more example. In the same way, you can get the answer of this. You can go go through this solution yourself, and the answer will be clear to you. Next, this is uh, question A and B are two sets containing three and six elements. 
a is smaller because it has three element b is larger because it has six element find the maximum number of element in a union b and minimum number of element in a union b there is case one when both sets are disjoint and using the formula this na3 given already nb6 already and if the sets are disjoint this intersection will be zero so the answer is 9 so the maximum is 9 case 2 for minimum a is fully contained in b this is a special case because a is a smaller b is larger and for minimum inside b a will go again using the same formula n a union n a plus n b minus n a intersection b n a 3 n b 6 a n a intersection b is 3 already given so the answer is 6 now next same question earlier you have already done in an examination 56 failed in English 45 failed in science 18 failed in both find percentage of those who passed in both note that this is passed not fail so in, in as earlier a plus b 56 failed in English b plus c 45 failed in science and 18 failed in both b is 18 Solving all the equations, we are getting A, B, C. Now, a students who failed either in A or B, either in English or Science, this is A plus B plus C. So, 83 failed. Now, the total students appeared is naturally 100. So, the number who passed is 17%. This is for three sets. Remember it. And there are three subjects. Mathematics, Physics and Chemistry A, B, C are denoting Maths, Physics, Chemistry Write A, B, C, D, E, F, G at proper place Now uh, according to question 100 taken Math means A, B, D, E A, B, D, E 100 uh, Again 70 taken Physics B, C, E, F B, C, E, F 70 and uh, 23 taken uh, 46 taken chemistry this is chemistry D E F G T E F G 46 now um, 30 maths and physics math and physics this is B and E so B plus E 30 then 28 math and chemistry math and chemistry D or E T E 28 after that 23 physics and chemistry physics and chemistry E jod F 23 and uh, all the three subjects 18 taken all the three subjects means e is 18 now put the value of e in this e ka value dalo tino jaga get bdf bdf ready now first equation in equation first a plus write all the values get a in second equation put the all the values get c in third equation put all the values um, um, once more ye, this E is 18 18 is substituted in this we get F if 18 is put in this we get D 18 is put here we get B so these are the values known to us now using all of them in first second third first uh, putting in first putting in second putting in third now all the values are known to us so we can answer any question uh, a student taken only math a student taken only math this is a only math a only math so a is equal to 60 um, a student taken only physics only physics is c so the value of c is 35 a student taken only chemistry only chemistry c here this is g so only chemistry is also written a student taken either of the three subjects means A union B union C all A plus B plus C plus T plus all the values are added a student who neither taken any of the three subject earlier the total students this is total minus A B C D E F G so total 175 minus 153 32 uh, a student taken exactly one subject see the figure exactly one subject means a c g a c g so this is a plus c plus g and whatever you will get that will be the answer right 
again uh, there are this is the question three awards are there mm. in a school award uh, a school awarded 42 medals in hockey 18 in basketball 23 in cricket if these medals were uh, bagged by 65 students total uh, and only four got medal in all the three groups how many received medal in exactly two of three sports now in, you have to find out the number of uh, participant who got medal in exactly two subject exactly two subject means this c exactly two b and e d and e e and f this is a union a intersection b take this intersection then take intersection of b and c then take intersection of c and a but this E is not taken, but you have taken three times E, so three must be subtracted. Subtract three. Now use the formula. The long formula earlier I have told you that the long formula is written here, and uh, this is used. So put the value at proper place and get the value of this. So we get n a intersection b plus n b intersection c plus n c intersection. A is 87 minus 65, this is 22. Now putting in 1 here, this is your answer to find this minus 3, so 10 is the answer. There is alternative method. If you can learn, learn alternative method, it will be more easier. A, B, C, D, yeah. You have to find out medal in exactly two subjects, two sports, sorry, two sports means this is B. B got medal in A and B or both. D and F. Only you have to find out B, D, F. So just see how it is obtained. Uh, according to question, medal in A. This this is for uh, basketball. Not sorry. This is for uh, awarded hockey. A, B, D, E. Here they have 42. Next. 18 for basketball, B, C, E, F, 18 and similarly D, E, F, G, H, 23 and all the students 65 got the medals so given already kit all sum of all is 65 E is 4, medal in all 4 now you have to solve in such a way that you are getting B, D, F so too, too difficult to solve because the number of variables are 7 7 variables have been used but equations are uh, not mm, 5 only. The answer this can be obtained from 1 plus 2 plus 3 minus 4 minus 2 times 5. Put the value and get the answer. Now why this? The problem why this? See why? So adding 1, 2, 3, minus 4, minus 2 into 5. Put the value we are left with. Uh, D, B, F. Just go through the two methods, see which one will be easier for you. There are some proofs. Proof that A union B is B union A. Let X belongs to A union B. Red. A union. This means X belongs to A. Union means or. Definition of union or. So A or X belongs to B. This implies x belongs to a, x belongs to b. Pala is kolik do bad me is kolik do. The meaning is x belongs to b union c. We have started from red and it became green. And hence this is equal to this proved. Next. Proved that this is equal to this. Let x belongs to first red zone. Now the meaning is x belongs to this. Union means or x belongs to c. This implies x belongs to this or means or. Uh, x belongs to this union means or x belongs to c this implies x belongs to a or means union means or x belongs to b uh, this or x belongs to c already now take x belongs common from these two red so x belongs to b or means union c so x belongs now take x belongs to common x belongs to a union b union c hence we have started from red and got green so the proof is ready. If any difficulty, just clear your doubt from 9. 9 number will be helpful to you. First, a small thing. Prove that A intersection B is B intersection A. Let X belongs to A intersection B. This means X belongs to A 
intersection means and x belongs to b this belongs implies x belongs to b and x belongs to a so x belongs to b intersection c starting from red we are getting green so the proof is ready likewise this first ninth number will be helpful to learn it more let x belongs to this red this means x belongs to a intersection means and x belongs to this now break this bracket x belongs to b and x belongs to c now th these are the three now x belongs to a common x belongs to common from these two x belongs to a common a and means intersection b and this is and x belongs to c once more take x belongs to common so x belongs to a intersection b and means intersection c so we have started from red and got green so the proof is ready okay students now um, think more learn more wait